Hello and welcome to my new video. Attention, this one contains advertising, but also information. I upgraded my SkyZone goggles with a faceplate and some custom-made lenses. And that is what this video is about. I am a classic case of age-related farsightness. But in the last year I also recognized that my eyes also won't focus properly in far distance anymore. And the left and the right eye differ from each other. This asks for custom-made lenses, made exactly for my eyes, if I want to see perfectly. This also has consequences for my view through video glasses. The overall image was ok, but I started to miss details. Especially in the colder time of the year, without leaves on the trees, I crashed several times just because I did not see single branches reaching out. You can get fat shark lenses for video glasses on the market, but they don't fit my needs. Especially for the SkyZone goggles that I own, there are no lenses available. SkyZone claims the fat shark lenses fit in, but they don't. You will see why later in this video. By coincidence, one of the few people that adapt custom lenses for video goggles in a professional manner has his shop nearby where I live. He is an optiker, like the profession is called in Germany, and offers his service for a reasonable price. So I talked to him and explained what I need. I haven't been to an eye doctor recently and he told me he could measure my eyes in his shop. It took roughly 30 minutes with his equipment to find out what my eyes need and he put together some lenses that enabled me to see razor sharp like 20 years ago. Two days later he had the lenses ready to go and I came by with my sky zones. The raw lenses are machined to the right measurements. He showed me how this is done. Let's speed it up a bit so you can better see what is going on. Once in shape, they have to be glued to small frames. This has to be done only for the sky zone, not for the fat shark. I explain later why. The frame is not black. In case the lenses fall down at the airfield, your chances of finding them in the grass is way higher with a colored frame. I suspect that the color might cause visual drawbacks inside the goggles, but as I later saw myself, they don't. He takes a microscope and a tool for dentists to apply the glue as precisely as possible. He chose glue that dries with ultraviolet light. He tried several other methods, but this one is the best right now. The glue stays elastic, so things won't break apart if some mechanical stress is put to the frame. And this is why the frames are needed. Here is a comparison between a fat shark frame and the sky zones. You can see the lens is way higher and has more room beneath, but at the sky zones it's flat at the bottom. The glass is bent outwards, like a globe around your eye. Due to the position of the slots in the sky zone, the bent glass would not fit in. In a fat shark this is not a problem, since there is more room between the slot and the housing for screens. But stuck on the frame, the lens slides into the sky zone slots and has enough distance to make them fit and work fine. He offers two qualities of lenses, a cheaper and a more expensive one. They differ in material quality and for that reason also in visual quality. 
I took the more expensive ones. Check for his options and prices on his website. I will put a link below. Now the lenses are in my sky zone. I can tell the picture is way sharper. The orange frames do not narrow the field of view. I don't realize they are there. With my upgraded sky zone I also noticed that the lens of my board cam with my 3D hammer was out of focus for the distance. I did not see that before. Conclusion. If you need correction lenses for your sky zone or fetch are goggles, the lenses of Optic Fisher are a good way to go. They are of high quality and can greatly increase your experience while flying FPV. We spend lots of money on the technology of our models. Somehow it makes no sense to spoil the visual experience with a blurred picture. My judgment recommended.